Today we will say a few words about photovoltaic switch gears. The topic is known to many, but it is often interesting for new owners of photovoltaics. Typically, there are two switch boards in the installation. One is a distribution board for DC circuits, the other for AC circuits. Why separate them? This has its justification. In the event of short circuit between DC and AC circuits, protection may not work. Therefore, it's worth having two switchboards. How it is roughly structured? Here we see four wires come in that come down from the roof. These are two pairs of plus and minus, two serious circuits of PV panels. In the, in the industry, it is often referred to as strings. Photovoltaic panels, as well as batteries in the remote control of household appliances, are connected in series. Plus to the minus, in the home appliance remote control, there are usually at least two batteries because each has 1.5 volts and there must be at least two to polarize the transistor in the electronics. In the case of photovoltaics panels, we often have many more, for example 10. Each is about 40 volts, that's 400 volts. Ooh, it can kill. We have voltage here right now. But let's see what it looks like inside. There is a sheet hidden in the switch gear that shows the sequence of the panels in the circuits. After years of some service, it may turn out to be useful. What do we have here? Two serious circuits of PV panels come in and connected to over current protection. Plus, minus, plus, minus in two circuits. Each over current protection has... Now I have to be careful. It can kill. The overcurrent protection has a fuse inside. Maybe I pull it out. I'll show it. As it is energized, so I use an insulated tool and make careful movement. This is what it looks like. This is a fuse, a tube. The trip current is selected according to parameters of photovoltaic panels. Let's put it in its place. So the, so the overcurrent protection consists of a holder and a fuse. The circuits are also included in the surge protectors. It is important that these protections are designed for DC circuits and that the threshold should be above the nominal voltage of the given panel circuit, typically 1000 volts. We also connected earthing to the over voltage protections. This is the circuit that will discharge the surge in if it occurs. After the overcurrent protection, the circuit goes out and fit into the PV inverter. What does AC switch gear look like? A circuit comes out of the inverter. Let's also open it and show inside. Then the circuit enters the overcurrent protection, the value of which is adjusted to the power of inverter. Here we have B20, because the power of the installation is almost 10 kV. As a rule, there is also an over voltage protection for AC circuits. It does not exist here, because this protection has already been built in the main switchboard and there is no need to double this protection. In the installation, the existing cable from the main switch gear to the free phase socket in the garage was used as a circuit for the generated energy. The cross section of its conductors was sufficient, thus avoiding any work interfering with the glazing of the room where the main switchboard is located. Therefore, it was necessary to install differential switch in this switch gear, which protects the socket against electrical shock and the overcurrent switch. Also the connections are simply, but remember that the DC voltage are high and, more importantly, not protected against electrical shock by differential switch. It can kill. 
Therefore, let us not work under voltage here, because the error will always be fatal and there is no chance to only perceptible shock. As in the case of protected AC circuits with differential switch, threshold of 30 mA. Complete switchboards are available in our online store shop.saninhouse.eu. Greetings! Better house, better life.